software developers, for example, or product analysts, you, you get put in a bucket or in a silo, and historically it's been very difficult to navigate out of that or to to convince or communicate to others that actually you, you potentially have a really broad skill set. Um, you know, lots of job adverts still start with must have 10 years of experience in, yeah. you know, shipping. Why? <laughs> Right, I mean, so so I think I think that will change. Um, I think um, again, it's already happening. CVs are, you know, are LinkedIn. Um, but again, going back to your the, the, the gig economy perspective, the platforms mm -hmm. like Brain Trust or even that locally Gig DI, um, Gig DI, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the Rich runs. I mean, that's your digital footprint. Um, that's what's going to tell employers what you can do and what skill sets lie in a mm -hmm. far, far better way, in a far more granular way than me giving you a CV to get a fitted job title on it. Um, mm -hmm. So I think that's, they're all, they're all quite profound changes as well. I think, um, yeah, when you do your work, who you do your work for, um, the mm -hmm. types of work that you can do. Um, I think if we fast forward five years, if you assume, you know, an, an almost mm -hmm. exponential rate from an AI standpoint, in terms of the types of jobs that AI will be able to take on and the increasing complexity of those jobs, um, People will have more flexibility to be more creative in terms of what they look to do. 